Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder. I'm here for pretty much a second episode of my Let's Play series on Elk Mountain roleplay, mini roleplay series. And we man manufactured a way to get through what we needed to do, which is by selling our barn. We sold the barn to make sure we had enough money to do the thing that we planned on doing all along, which is plant this field for some form of use. So we sold the barn, we got the equipment we needed, we planted this field, so we'll show you what we bought and what we did with the money. So, with this tractor that we picked up a while ago, we bought a mower, a cheap mower for us to be able to cut grass. We bought this cedar in which that we used to seed the field with grass. We bought this really cheap solid fertilizer spreader that is going to do the majority of the heavy lifting for us. We bought this really cheap roller to help us roll the field so that they are up to standard for continued use. What's great about grass now that we've seeded it, we do not need to keep on seeding it. So this right here is going to sit here and do nothing. And my cat is climbing all over my personal belongings on my coffee table. Great. Go ahead, crunch it all up. I don't need any of those important pieces of paper. And so yeah, we don't need to seed anymore, which is great. We just need to keep on rolling and I don't know that we'll need to keep on fertilizing, but we will do so as we grab yields off the field. <clears throat> Uh, we also limed the field with this really cheap lime spreader. Now, what's great about this is that it um, was really cheap, um, but it, what it does is control the lime spread a little bit more to literally the width of this, so it doesn't spread too much. So it took us a while to lime the field, but we won't need to lime for a little while now that we've done that. Um, we also picked up the cheapest um, a grass uh, collection material we could find in the meantime, so we can at least collect grass off the field. We also bought a tether and a wind rower. Now, I don't remember which is which. Gosh, I should have remembered. But one does one, one does the other. But we may, to increase our pay on this until we can build a way to make um, silage, is to at least tether to hay. Because if, if I remember correctly, we will be able to sell straw. Here's hay at around 118 from 20 uh, we buy hay whereas grass is only ever going to be like 96 so doing a little bit of tedding will get us a little extra bonus as long as this is more than what the typical um, grass selling station is and then when we can finally make silage that's where most of the money is going to be made so in the meantime we'll at least be making hay and collecting it um, from this field and we could do a lot of other work with this so for all intents and purposes we don't have to cut just this field we can cut other things um, but we are not greedy people and so what we have to do in the meantime is find oh we also bought one of these multi-fruit uh, stations with that money as well we have no use for really much anything else but we really should be looking into getting a silage uh, Silage, silage, silage. Where would I find silage? Silo extension, silos. Bunker silo medium cost me sixty-five thousand. Bunker silo small costs twenty-five thousand. So we really need to find a way to get um, twenty-five thousand. Um, that would be really great. Why is this snapping like that? V toggle free mode. I don't know what that means. Well, apparently we can only do those sizes. We don't have anything else that does. Uh, we might actually. Silos? Farmhouses? Nope. Tools? Nope. Production. It'll be on production. So let's see. Do we have the fermenter? So we must not have it installed. I think we just chose not to install it for that reason because it was a little cheaty. So we'd like to get another twenty-five thousand. So is there any way we can make that money? Contracts are a little bit light right now. Let's take a look at our contract. 
contracts um, right here. The contracts we have is cultivating, which we could potentially do. Um, that actually wouldn't be so bad. It'd give us seven grand. You can't really do any fertilizing. You could do some harvesting, but that's I've learned that that doesn't work as well as we'd hoped. Springs. It looks like we can do some cultivating now. We don't have a cultivator, so we'll have to borrow the items. And it looks like it didn't work. Oh, there it goes. Yes, it goes. All right. So now we can do the job. Also, I don't know if you guys see here, but we set up a quick contract here for um, our use of our contract for quick auto drive situation. So, oops, that makes our life incredibly easy to go back and forth between places. Now we have to go to field. We really are sucking here. We have a nice big one here. So field three, where are you? Oh, pretty much right back where we are. So we'll set you up to auto drive yourself to the farm. In just a moment. Should be relatively quickly. You gotta watch for objects when you're using this, but you should be able to do this once we get you started. There you go. Now you'll use probably some of my money because you are, yeah, you are doing that. Um, yeah, forget it. We'll just do it ourselves. Save our dollars. We can drive it ourselves. So we will start this cultivating contract. We'll meet you guys when we get there, and we'll do a little bit of a montage um, of us getting there and starting the plow, or starting the cultivation. And once it's finished, we will return.
All right, everyone, we're back. After doing that little bit, we can now finally hand in our contract. And we are gonna go ahead and collect that contract of 7,000 bucks. Just a load of that because we did release the equipment. And we could see if there's any more contracts, but I think we're gonna pass the day and let the day come to a close because maybe we can start making a little bit of extra money at the beginning of the next because oh i don't think there's any contracts worth while doing right now nope just harvesting and spraying so we'll return back to our area here and we're going to go to bed for the night and we will regain with you the next time when we get an update on how this field has come along we will return uh with when contracts either refresh if that may be another contract or once this field is ready to cut so I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. It's been great and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave my own ideas of what I could do with this series and we'll see you again next time. Take care.